Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To Use. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use RoboFarm Password Manager. But before we start, hurry up and check out our new self purchase under this video. So let's get started. In this case, how do we actually start using RoboFarm here? Well, in this case, what we need to do is we first need to visit their official website, which is going to be RoboFarm.com. Now, in their website, they actually have two plans that they provide users with. We have trying the business option here or the personal option. Now, from here, what we need to do is we need to choose the best for us. So in this case, uh, you could basically use business. Like for example, if you're uh, a business owner and you have a lot of employees, well, you could provide them with your Google form uh, subscription here. Now, by the way, let's go ahead and view their plans here by clicking on plans. And from here for teams and business, you have one to 10 users and it's around 39.95 a year. Three year subscription is around 33.95 a year. And five year subscription is around 29.95 a year. Now, if you want to start your free trial, just click on start free trial here. But if you choose the personal and family option here, as you can see, these are the uh, a plan that we could get here. So we have premium and family as well. But a great thing about RoboForm here is you could actually use this for free. So this includes unlimited passwords on a single device, monitor for compromised passwords. So for example, if your password is compromised or your account is compromised, they will notify you. They also have the two-factor authentication access to RoboForm. You also have the user form as a TOTP authenticator. You also have a cloud backup and a lot more. So you have emergency access, secure share and send individual items, as well as support, which includes 24 seven email. Let's go ahead and click on get free here. And from here, it's going to give us the option to uh, start installing it. So first extension, now sign up, and then just pin the extension itself at the top right of your screen. Now in this case, this will actually redirect you to the uh, web store or a uh, web store for your browser for the perform here. Let's go ahead and click on add to Chrome here since we're using Google Chrome. Let's go ahead and click click on add extension and that should actually start or basically add our extension here so let's just wait for it to fully install now once the extension is actually fully installed it's now going to redirect you to the login page or the sign up page now since we are failing you here let's go ahead and click on sign up to create our account and from here let's go ahead and set up our account so it's going to request you a few information and details about yourself like for example your email and as well as a master password master password that you want to use for your account so let's just wait for you to load up fully here so in this case let's go ahead and provide our email master password confirmation of that password first name and last name and from then on you just need to create uh, click on create account also you need to agree to their terms of service and privacy policy here now in this case uh you should be able to fill out these details here now by the way the master password here is something really important make sure to remember your master password this in this case this is going to be the main password that you'll be using for roboform for managing your password it's, now in this case make sure it's actually secure like uh make it at least at 12 characters it contains numbers and special characters and capital and small letters in this case it's going to fill out this form here now from here it's going to say your account created successfully now in this case make sure to memorize your passwords so in this case uh, let's go and click on get started here and it should redirect us to the roboform home page so let's just wait for it to load up and as you can see, we are now inside RoboForm. Now in this case, it's going to say protect your data. So did you know you can regain access to RoboForm data even if you forget your master password? So you can actually turn master password restore feature on. So you just need to install the RoboForm app on your mobile device and enable uh, biometrics. Now you can download this via the App Store or Google Play Store here, or basically just scanning the uh, QR code here to download the uh, app itself. So in this case, go click on maybe later here, and I yeah. So in this case, this is the main UI for RoboForm. So in this case, these are the features that you'll be able to access on RoboForm. So in this case, by default, you're going to be in the home section here. So in this case, in the home, you should be able to see the all section, which in this case we have popular, recently used, and A to Z. Now in this case, in the popular, since we haven't added anything or even used anything here, it's nothing is going to appear. But if you use A to Z here, just show all the uh, logins, or safe notes, or even your details in here. Now in this case, what is the first thing that we need to do here? So in this case, let's go ahead and go to our all here. Let's go and click on add new login. 
And uh, from here, it's going to say your form password manager has required additional permissions. So it could read a list of your most frequently visited items. So let's go ahead and click on allow here. And from here, it's now going to say add new login. Now from here, we need to choose the website. So these are the websites that is actually uh, is request, uh, actually uh, suggesting you to use. So if you have a specific website, like for example, your own website or a website does not, that does not appear here, you could choose the create your own here. So for example, maybe I'm going to look for Facebook here. It's just an example, let's choose Facebook. And now we need to see, we just need to enter our email as or our phone number here, as well as the password that we want to use. Now, if you want to pin this one, you could go ahead and click on pin and you should be able to pin this into your account here. So as, as an example, I'm going to add a sample email here and as well a password. So in this case, let's just enter a password here. Now from here, you should be able to add notes as well if you want to add additional notes. And you could also add authentication key here. But in this case, uh, the two-factor authentication key and phase can be added after saving username and password. So we need to save this one first. And once you've done that, you could go ahead and click on the uh, uh, specific app or website here to log in into that specific website. Now I will use your credentials and use that as a means of log in. Now, if you want to edit this, you can go ahead and click on the three dot icon here. Yes, and from here you could have the go fill option here, which in this case you'll be able to fill the Facebook uh, page. Now uh, in the Facebook login page, if you want to automatically log in, you could go ahead and uh, do that. If you want to go to website itself, you could go to go to website here. You have the view if you want to view your credentials or if you want to edit it, just click on edit. And from here, it's going to say the change your password was used was not found in data breach. So in this case, it's going to say if your password is actually not good or it's actually one of the breach or it's actually uh, not a secure password itself. So it's going to suggest that from time to time. Now in this case, if you want to set up authentication key, just click on add authentication key. And from here, you just need to add your authentication key and follow the steps for you to add your authentication key. Now in this case, that's how you add a uh, login here. Again, you could do this for any website that you see here, like for example, Lands of America, Craig this, CVS, Care Mark. Now you could just use the uh, search uh, bar here to look for that specific website. Now, if you go to logins, it should show you all the logins. Safe notes would actually contain a notes that you want to secure, like for example, your Wi-Fi password, your uh, password on your phone, the combination for that, if you want to save those. So in this case, you could go ahead and click on add safe note here. And from here, you just need to add your notes. So simply like for example, we're just going to add test note. From here, let's go ahead and click on save and it's going to say home. So if you want to uh, basically have a different folder for that, but in this case, it's at my current account currently support, supports only one folder. Let's go ahead and save this one. And yeah, as you can see, it's now listed as is. Now, if you want to uh, change the view for your uh, section here, you could go to the top right here, click the organization, maybe a list of a, maybe an icon version or even the uh, listed or the uh, for um, the type of view here that you want to use. So you could also filter, like for example, you have a lot of uh, data or a lot of items in here. You could use the search at the very top and even use the filters, like for example, search for any words, search for uh, all words or search for exact phrase. It's a great way for you to really filter out what you're really, really looking for. If you click on your name here, you should be able to see your details. For example, the name that we use, the email, and if you want to add your address, and even add your card information. So we had add credit card here. We also have add bank account, add business, add your password if you want to, even add your car if you want to. So yeah, so we also have the password generator here. Like for example, you want to create a new account and you're not sure what password you wanna use. So in this case, password generator here could actually help you a lot. Now, in this case, you can specify how many numbers or of characters is going to be. Like, for example, let's go ahead and set this to 12 characters. And you could also enable if you want to include numbers, letters, uh, uh, capitalize, or uh, uh, small letters as well. If you want to also add hexadecimals or ex exclude similar and special characters if you want to allow those and even indicate what special characters are allowed. In this case, uh, for you to uh, basically uh, show that, let's go ahead and click on the generate here. It's now going to generate a password for us. Let's go ahead and click on copy and that should copy the actual password that we just generated and just use it to create a new item in your RoboForm account. 
I have the authenticator here as well. So in this case, it actually opens any login views and edit mode to add an authentication key here. So in this case, it would depend on the items that you have here if they support authentication keys. Uh, I also have the security center here, which in this case uh, gives you the option to basically view how secure your account is, like how strong is your password? Is it weak? Is it uh, duplicated or is it um, anything that would actually compromise your account? Also have the sharing center here. So in this case, you could actually share some items. Like for example, we want to click on the plus button at the bottom right here. From here, you should be able to uh, start sharing uh, certain items like the item that we just re uh, recently added for Facebook. But for you to start using this, you first need to verify your email account before you start using it. We also have emergency access here. If you want to provide emergency access to your contacts, uh, for example, you could go and click on plus here, but again, you need to first confirm your email account. But yeah, so those are the basics on how to use RoboForm here, and that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button, and watch our next video.